There are 88 mobs in the Alex's Mobs mod, and today I'm going to capture and trap them all in these cages, which will also be expanding later on. Some of these mobs were really, really hard to collect and took a long time to get, so make sure to watch to the end. We've collected 37 mobs so far, and now we'll continue with the easy mobs and work our way up to the more challenging mobs. So I discovered this mushroom island where I was able to collect three new mobs. The first one was obviously a mungus. In the ocean surrounding the island, I was able to get the frilled shark. Underneath the island, inside a big cave system i found the blobfish we got a blobfish there's one more thing i need from this island before i leave a mungus occasionally drops mungus spores which can be fed to a rabbit to turn it into a bonfungus and i need to have it because it's one of my favorite mops look at that nose jiggling after waiting a little while i had my first mungus spore so i went on my way to search for a rabbit you'll soon see that i basically found everything else but a rabbit starting with this seal a seal and collect it in birch biomes there are sugar gliders like that that one. Now we gotta look for a rabbit. Oh, there's a skunk. Get that stinky ass out of here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was me. I'm sorry. Look at it waddling away. I've used up all my lassos. Do I have the resources to make a new one? I got... Whoa. That voice crack. And we now have three more diamond lassos to use. Now, are there any rabbits around? Hold on. Oh, look at it. Is it sleeping? Wait, I want to see its eyes. Can you can you open your eyes real quick? This guy cannot be bothered. Look at that. This keeps on sleeping. That is my spirit animal. Let's see if we can spot a rabbit somewhere. I don't think rabbits spawn here. Okay, where would rabbits spawn? Thank you for the boost. Yeah, there are no rabbits around here. Oh, juke them all. We should be able to find a rabbit in this biome, right? Oh god. That was one creepy looking dude. Yeah, no rabbits around here. Okay, I'm gonna move on to another biome. We got Skelewax up front. These guys are really dangerous. They do a lot of damage. Can I can I capture it? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, we gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta move. And golden apple in just in case. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Man, this hostile lasso is so annoying. Oh my god, dude. There we go. I got it. I got it. Okay, I need to put it into the backpack. And we got the scale wag. That was um that was harder than I expected. Look at all these moths we've collected. We're gonna have a lot of work to do back at the base. Okay, so we've got the seagulls. Yeah, I hope I recorded that part with the seagull. Killed a couple seagulls and then captured one of them. Yeah, I'm hope hopefully I recorded that. <laughs> God damn. Okay, we're running into a plains biome where we will hopefully find some rabbits. In which biomes do rabbits spawn? Nice. This is gonna get the gold blocks. And the second gold block is ours too. Oh, sorry about that, sheep. Didn't mean to flush you into the ocean. Or oh, there's a village. Oh, do you think there could be rabbits in the village? Maybe the villagers have captured some of them. We got sheep, cats, raccoons, golem, Olaf. Hey, Fiona, where's Shrek? That was... Such a bad joke. <laughs> okay. How is there not a single rabbit? We're in a plain biome. There should be some bison somewhere, right? Okay, I'm calling it right now. We're about to find bison. Not looking so good for my prediction right now. Uh, bison. Bison. Gonna grab one of these. Can't seem to find any rabbits. Okay, before I head back to base, I'm gonna take a moment to look for some rabbits. I'm sure I'm gonna find some somewhere. Nope. No, I did not. I did find a bunch of other mobs though, so that's cool. Back at the base, I put all the mobs I've captured so far into their cages. Let's start with the flying fish. Let's whip out the name tags. That face is sexy as hell. I don't even know what I'm saying. The frilled shark. I hope they don't attack blobfish. And that is the frilled shark. Okay, the rest of the mobs are all land-based. Yeah, it's time to extend this hallway and add a bunch more cages. Oh, hold on. We actually do have one more water-based mob. As soon as I take this out of my backpack, it will spawn out here. And here it is. Let's name it. Did I name it? Yeah, I did. Oh. Oh god. Let me grab my water and close this off. It was stabbing me with that. That, that, that does not feel good. All right, now we can move on to these cages. While expanding, I also decided to remove all the iron bars because, well, I'll just let my past self explain. I just thought that it looked kind of shitty. I then went into a separate test world to find out which of the water-based mobs are compatible, meaning which ones won't attack each other. My thorough examination showed that only three mobs had to go into a separate cage. The outcasts were the Cachalot Whale, Mantis 
shrimp and the frilled shark. All the others went into the floor aquarium. In this way, all the mobs in here can swim around freely in this entire thing. And yeah, it goes back far. I'm gonna add some more fish later on so this feels a bit more alive. Back here, we got the Cachalot whale, the mantis shrimp, and the frilled shark. These three mobs have to be in a separate cage because they attack the other mobs. So yeah, they're gonna chill in this big open aquarium. And on this side, we're gonna have the uh, nether cages and over here we have the end cages. But before we get to building those, we're gonna first complete all the overworld mobs. So all the cages are ready. I just have to place in the mobs and close it up. The orca, the giant squid, all those mobs are gonna come in here as well. I still have a bunch more mobs that I haven't placed into these cages yet, so that's what I'm gonna do next. Yeah, that's uh, quite a few. That's 15 to be exact. And that is the seagull done. They placed that sleepy dude in here. Oh, look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. That is some wild looking. Get it in there. Name it. A lot of these mobs are sleeping on this moss. So these cages have to be comfortable. And the sugar glider's in there. Oh, we can climb walls as well. That's sick. What? Hey, hey, no teleportation hacks, huh? Let's place this guy in here. It's actually bigger than I thought. Please tell me this guy fits. Okay, it just about fits into the cage. Who's doing that licking sound? Stop licking the cages, okay? This is sick. All of these mobs, they are insanely well made. Bam, bam. Look at that head bubble. That is a long neck. I hope it doesn't start to suffocate. Okay, it does. Okay, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a bigger cage for it. Okay, I'm gonna keep this guy in the lasso for later. There we go. Raccoon. That is raccoon done. Yeah, is that moss tasty? Look at them particles raining down on it. Oh, yeah. what am I even saying? Okay, next up we got the crocodile. This is a very dangerous creature, especially since I'm on two hearts. I gotta be quick. Oh, okay, that was close. Oh, next up we got the rhino. That is also a big boy, but it should fit right into the cage like the bison, hopefully. Did not expect this guy to be aggressive. Look at them horns. Yeah, you do not want to be stabbed by that. He even got enough space to hop around. It genuinely sounds like a zoo down here. I wonder why. And that is the flutter. Look at that. This is the... Whoa, you can fly? That is all the mobs that we've captured recently. We've got a couple more cages to fill. All of these cages are going to be filled as well. I'm going to put the elephant into the cage at the very end. With all the mobs in their cages, it was time to continue the search for the rabbit. I really need that bug fungus. To travel a bit faster, I'm going to go through the nether. Because I have a portal leading to the desert. So I'm going to walk to that portal right now. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 I need to capture this guy. Could you stop spitting at me like that? That's, that's kind of rude. How low does this guy have to be? There we go. Hey, look at that. I got a crimson mosquito proboscis. All right, so that is the first mob. Wasn't even my attention, but I'll take it. After I finish collecting all the mobs in the overworld, I'm gonna move on to capture all the mobs in the nether. First, we're gonna focus on the overworld. And we have arrived at the portal, which will lead us to the desert. Rabbits do also spawn in deserts. I should be able to find a couple there. Oh, damn. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna capture this guy. Don't don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Wait, it's still at full health. Wow, this octopus has a lot of health. So the reason why I'm capturing the mimic octopus again is because I want to fill the underground aquarium a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna let the mantis shrimp back out. Don't attack me, okay? I apologize for stealing your food. Okay, let's go to the desert. Oh god, wait, wait, wait. They stole my golden apples. It ate my golden apple. Wait, they just ate four golden apples. You've got to be kidding me. Get away from me. Get out of here. Oh, and there are triops here. Oh, there's a skeleton horse. And I'm not going to go near... Okay, I was just about to say I'm not going to go near that. But oh, just let me grab this guy and I'm going to get out of here. How are they so fast underwater? What? Oh, yeah. I got a nice arrow in my chin. That feels great. And we have finally reached land. Okay, over there, there are some rabbits. Oh. Look at that spider. Damn, did he just shove that spider in the sand? I didn't know tarantula hawks were bullies. Oh, oh, we got rabbits. Wait, so if I feed this guy, this... Wait, hold on, hold, hold. Okay, I fed it to it. Do they need more than one? Hold on. No, stop. I'm gonna make a little hole right here so I can test this out. Oh, it needs more than one mongol spore. In that case, I'm gonna just take the rabbit with me. We'll get some more fungal spores or whatever it's called. Hey, dolphin. Yes, let's go. Oh. Wait, I just spotted a giant squid. Okay, it should be up for- Okay, 
I see it, I see it. That thing is massive. Look at its size compared to me. That's definitely gonna spice up the Aquarium River. Look at that, we're back at the old desert village. What was that name of that villager? Diana? Something like that. Kind of wild that I still know the name. Is that weird or... Yeah, it's a bit weird. Master Ugwe. Oh, the camel's still here. Can you tame this guy like, like a horse? Let's see. Oh, it's instantly tamed. Okay. I thought it was gonna be a bit faster, but it looks cool. Oh, hold on. Why is it so fast currently? Okay, uh, my dumbass wasn't sprinting. That's why it was so slow. Yeah, why not? Let's wander the desert a bit with the camel. Oh, rattlesnake just killed a jerboa. Oh, no. Oh, run, run. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go. Okay, never mind. The guster is the only mob left I have to capture in the desert. Can you, um, can you swim? Whoa, okay, never mind. Well, we got a couple elephants. I want to get the one with the big tusks. I'm gonna let this guy out. Yeah, you got your family member back. Right? I'm gonna borrow another one. Oh, look at the rhinos. This kind of feels like a safari ride on this camel. Just instead of a car, we're using a camel. Oh, oh god. We should keep a distance from the mobs, like in real life. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry about that, camel. Sorry about that. Would you mind? Would you mind standing up, camel? Come on, I'm not that fat. You don't have to rest that much. There we go. Okay, this is gonna take way too long with the camel. I'm gonna drop it off at the jungle. That's that's a pretty nice place to uh, enjoy retirement. We're almost there. All right, camel. Enjoy your stay in jungle paradise. I'm gonna take off the saddle, and you're free to go. Bye, camel. Thank you for the journey. Oh, there's an alligator snapping turtle. That is one of them. Oh, there we go. Wait, there's also a shoe build somewhere. Mob lasso and... Nice, we got the shoe build as well. There are some high mountains up here, and I believe there are some bald eagles up there. That is one of the birds that I still have to capture. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, I found some sort of outpost right here. Oh, I almost just jumped into that tree. Yeah, I'm sorry about setting your build on fire. Um, I'm just gonna go now. Okay, I'm in the other swamp. Hopefully I can find the other swamp creatures that weren't in the other biome. Okay, I probably shouldn't be in the water because... Oh, there are quite some dangerous mobs in the water. We have any... Oh, what is that? Oh, that is an anaconda. Wait, I can't... That was, uh... Yeah. I've captured it. Nice. And we got the anaconda. That is wild. Yeah, there just seems to be a bunch of catfish, so I'm gonna look for a different biome. Oh, we got a big mangrove biome. Oh, that is a caiman. We got seven new mobs. Mudskipper. Okay, that is the next mob I actually want to capture. And then I have all the mobs that spawn in uh, mangrove or swamp biomes. Now, where are these at? Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, we got all the mobs we need from this biome. Let's uh, let's move on to the next one. I have spotted a banana slug. At least I think it is. Yeah, yeah, that is that is a banana slug, right? Yeah, there we go. Another mob captured. Okay, can you? Yeah. Oh, sorry, chicken. Sorry about that. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, that's pretty much the only mob I wanted to capture in the tiger biome. And to my luck, this tiger biome actually leads into the meadow biome. In this biome, there should be some gelato monkeys. Oh, and there are. I see them. We got some gelato monkeys. That is the gelato monkey collected. Wait, there's some ice mountains up there. I think we'll find our next mobs there. There are a few mobs that spawn in cold biomes that we haven't got yet oh okay yeah we got some snow leopards ahead somewhere they can be aggressive so i'm just gonna go quickly in and snatch it oh there's a tusklet okay these guys are aggressive let's see if i can capture it with this yeah i can and i have now run out of diamond lassos but i should have all the items to make some more so i'm just gonna craft some more because i don't want to return to base until i have absolutely all overworld mobs except for the screecher and the farseer those two mobs will have to wait a bit because i definitely need the dimensional carver to get those now there should be two more mobs that i can find in this biome that would be the frost walker and the moose so i'm gonna have to find those oh we got moose up there oh they're right there i'm gonna go grab one of them wait can you stop running away thank you now let's look for the frost walker the last time i saw any frost walkers was near a village so i'm gonna check out this village and see if there are any frost walkers inside doesn't look like it look at that statue okay i don't think there are any frost walkers here so i'm gonna move on anyway i found an ice spike biome and this is where frost walkers should spawn okay there currently aren't any maybe they only spawn at night okay i'm gonna come back at night and check again in the meantime i'm gonna go into this cold ocean 
and look for some comb jellies. Okay, it's pretty cold down here. Hopefully I can find some comb jellies pretty soon. Orcross also spawned in this biome. I think I saw one over here. Free Willy. There we go. Now I just gotta look for that comb jelly. The comb jelly has such vibrant colors. Okay, it's slowly getting dark, so I'm gonna head back to the ice spikes biome and check for some frost stalkers. Okay, the ice spikes biome should be up ahead. None have spawned yet. Maybe they spawn below. Okay, I'm gonna look around this cave for a bit. Uh, this is a massive cave. Are there even any more mobs I have to capture in the caves? Okay, wait. Oh! oh. Well, that is one I gotta capture, and these are deadly poisonous, so... Okay, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna need some space. Wait, wait, I don't know if I need to use the hostile lasso or the diamond lasso. I'm gonna try this one. It doesn't work, it doesn't work, hold on. This poison is deadly. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Why is it so fast? Okay, I think I'm gonna have to hit hit it at least once. Oh, there's a creeper. There's a creeper. Get away from me. Oh, this is this is not pleasant to look at. Alright, there's so many mobs. There's so many mobs. Okay, I have to use the hostile ass on it. There's so many other mobs following me. Let's start getting rid of them. Okay. Alright, come here, come here, come here. Why is it not working? Oh, One skeleton shot and I'm gone. That poison is annoying. It didn't even show me that message on the bottom. You know? Okay, I'm gonna have to try that again later. Okay, we're gonna shoot it once. We have to shoot it again. I'm not sure how much damage I have to deal. Okay, okay. Can I capture it now? Oh, no, no. I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get away from the zombie real quick. Oh, there's another one. Okay, don't set me on fire. Oh my god. We finally got it. This one is so damn dangerous. There's actually another mob we can find underground, but only in cherry grove biomes. And that one is actually even creepier than this one. It's creepier than the cave centipede. And the cave centipede is hard to beat, but I think you'll know which one I'm talking about. Okay, it's getting dark soon. I'm, I'm gonna start to head back up. Okay, let's have one more look in this biome. And there they are. And you guys have been hard to find. There we go, we got it. You're not aggressive, are you? Oh, yeah, they are, they are, they are. Okay, I'm sorry for stealing your friend. Now that we have the Frost Stalker, let's go find the Comb Jelly. We probably have to go a bit further out into the ocean, though. Wait, was that a Comb Jelly? Wait, oh, come on. Let me, give me, okay. I almost just went past. This is the Comb Jelly. These colors, when there's good lighting, they are insane. I thought I was gonna have to travel a long time to get this, but um, I guess not. We got some more diamonds down here. Yeah, I went back into the cave because there is a mineshaft nearby. And one mob we have to capture is the Underminer, which can be found in mineshafts. I'm gonna go check out the mineshaft and see if I can find an Underminer. Okay, we should be arriving at the mineshaft pretty soon. Soon and here we are. There's a spawner. Can I? Oh, there's an opening. There's an opening. God damn. Can I reach the spawner from here? I can. Nice. So apparently these underminers appear in mineshafts after a player spends a long time in them. Now I'm not quite sure what a long time is, but I'm probably gonna be in this mineshaft for a couple days. Yeah, I'm just gonna go mine some ores, smelt some stuff, and um... Why are you still here? I broke the spawner. Wait, there are two underminers. I haven't even been here for five minutes. Okay, apparently five minutes is a long time to be in a mineshaft. Okay. Ew. Another one. Oh, that just bounced right off me. It's probably above me. Or is it under me? Where is it at? It should be straight under me. What the hell? I feel like I'm going into the wrong direction. Yeah, I definitely went into the wrong direction. It was above me, not below me. Or is it in the walls? There's no way it's that far above me. Okay, I have no idea where it is. Wait, can it be in walls? Wait, why can't I mine anything here? Wait, I'm looking at it. I'm look- wait, look- look at- 
I'm looking at it. What is happening? Wait, it should be right in front of me. I'm now showing the hitboxes and it is actually right in front of me, but I can't see it. Why can't I capture it? I can't even punch it. I don't understand this guy. I'm gonna try to find the other one. Okay, it's right here. It's right here. I can't like oh my god there's a lot of mobs okay apparently they disappear temporarily when approached so i have to be real quick no i almost had it i'm not sure how long they stay hidden but oh god i'm not fast enough oh there's so many mobs there are so many mobs get out of here get out of here okay how far away do i have to be Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. I do this, and then I can jump towards it. Look at it mining. Let's... No! Is it even possible to capture this dude? Okay, it's impossible. It It's literally impossible to capture this guy. And also, another fact about this mob is that it can actually phase through blocks, just like the Spectre. So, yeah, this mob is sadly a mob I, I'm not able to capture. That's sad, man. That, that's such a cool mob. Shows you where the ores are. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go back up and search for the next mob. Okay, there's a water cave and... Holy crap. Man, these guys are so pretty. I, I would love to get more of these. That's a whole lot of jelly, but that's gonna fill up the aquarium pretty nicely. All right, let's go up now to the surface and search for a cherry blossom biome. And there it is. Luckily, we already knew that this was here. This is next to the old nether portal and base that we had. All right, let's go up here and check if there is a tiger. And I'm also gonna make sure that I don't die to the tiger this time. Okay, there's one single tiger somewhere. Stop, could you please? All right, thank you, Crow, for your sacrifice. You managed to get the focus off of me, and uh, that made it pretty easy to capture it. I do have to go underground again in the cherry blossom biome because that's where the murmur mob spawn. So that is the next mob I'm gonna try to capture. I'm in another massive cave. Hopefully, we'll spot a murmur at some point. But there are quite a few diamonds down here. Oh, that's another cave centipede. I am not fighting you again. That's the best way to get rid of them. There are so many mobs in here, but not one of them is a murmur. Oh, <laughs> shot that kid to hell. Oh, my nose is itchy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at that. There's a rocky roller. Okay, those guys are pretty dangerous, so I gotta be ready. They can deal a lot of damage too. Okay, if that's the noise of a rocky roller, I really don't want to face it. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. Why, why can't I capture it? Oh, it's a hostile mob, it's a hostile mob. Why is it shaking me so much? Oh, that creeper. Hey, where are you at? No, don't tell me it died. Wait, did it explode? Was the explosion from the rocky roller? Finally found it and it just explodes. That pretty much uh, shows you how much luck I have in this project. Well, at least I know now that I probably have to use the hostile lasso. I'm gonna go back down. Go back to look for that murmur. I might as well take that water down. Okay. For a second, I thought I was, I was gonna miss it. Apparently, I've misread the information about the murmur because it doesn't spawn on the ground in chat cherry grove biomes it just spawns generally in caves under y level minus 30 but they also have a chance to spawn in the cherry blossom grove at night no murmur yet wait isn't this where i died like the first time and isn't that the tiger that killed me and my horse yeah yeah that's definitely you look at this look at those guilty eyes okay i'm kind of having a hard time killing it could you please attack me so i feel fine shooting your ass man why are you so friendly all of a sudden oh there we go there we go <sighs> okay that was an unnecessary risk that i just took uh, but I got my revenge. <laughs> okay, the only mobs I'm seeing are the standard mobs. Oh, there's a massive cave entrance right here. If we can find some dripstone caves down there, we could go for the rocky roller again. Didn't mean to do that. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was, that was really clumsy. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a dripstone cave here. Let's see if we can find another rocky roller. Alright, let's go a bit deeper. Oh. Oh, god. Okay, um, I'm not doing that again. Oh, there's a murmur. There's a murmur. How do I get there? Please, 
Please do not despawn. Oh, look at that creepy head. Okay, okay, let me let me get my shield out. Oh. God damn. Where is it? Why is that neck so long? I need to hit. Okay, now I should be able to capture it. And I did. That is one creepy mob, man. That is so creepy. Okay, well, uh, we got that one. Now we just gotta find the Rocky Stroller. Okay, Rocky Roller has spawned right over here. So we're gonna walk over there. Oh. So we're gonna walk straight over there. Oh, there it is. Wait, wait. Get the hostile lasso mob ready. Okay, first needs to take some damage. Oh, no. I did. I hit. No. No. I didn't mean to hit it twice. Oh my god. God damn it. These mobs. Okay, I'm not blaming it on these mobs. <laughs> no, that's on me. That's that's completely on me. Alright, uh, I'm gonna sit around here again and wait for another one to spawn. The rocky rolls are pretty rare too, so ah that's 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 painful. That's painful. Alright, I'm gonna chill here for a bit and get back to you when I find another one. Just so you know. Oh there we go. We got another stroller. <laughs> didn't even come after me, came after the Enderman. And there we go, we got it. We got the Rocky Stroller. That took a long time. I'm now gonna go for the Platypus, so I'm gonna follow this entire river, just swim all around it, and see if I can find a Platypus in there. Uh, I haven't seen one yet, which is, well, kind of unusual. You know, usually when I found Platypuses, they have been near birch biomes. Got some birch trees. Now, is there a Platypus around here? And yes, there is. Okay, I don't know if this is just a coincidence, or if it's actually because of the birch trees but yeah here we go we got a platypus gonna pop that into my backpack okay not a lot of mobs are missing from the overworld yeah look at this place man i really want to stay here and just relax a bit but we gotta go capture the mobs i'm almost at the highest peak of the peaks and so far no sunbirds around let's check out the other mountains there is a sunbird there is a sunbird Oh, okay, it's really high up. That's why I have so many blocks. They usually cruise at really high altitudes. How am I even gonna get up there? Okay, I gotta follow it quickly. Man, it's it's really fast. Oh, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Hold on. Where are my lassos? Where are my lassos? I don't have one ready. There it is. Oh, look at that. Come on. Stay down here, please. Please. Don't go. Come on. Come on. You got... Oh my god. It is so close. I've never been this close. Man, I really wish I had an elytra right now. Oh, it's gone. It's gone, isn't it? I was so close to it. Oh, man. We flew kind of in this direction. I don't know. I'm just gonna follow it. I found it again. Okay, and it's gone. Okay, this is another stony peak. Let's see what we got here. Can you see it on the map? There's a sunbird up front. I've seen it a couple times now, but every time it just flies away and there's no way for me to catch up. Man, it's really gone. It's it's gone already. It moves so quick and at a, such a high altitude. I've got no shot, man. I've got no shot. Until I maybe get an elytra, then it would be possible, but we're not going to the end just yet. Okay, I'm gonna put the sunbird on the reserve list with the screecher and Andy Farce here for now. Alright, let's go capture that Guster. It is storming, I believe. This is a rain frog too. Oh, that's a... That's a Guster. Hold on. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Damn. The kangaroo's in the air. Why? What? Could you... Stop. Oh, man. But... There's another one. Okay, okay. I'm really gonna go capture this guy before anything else happens. Oh, could you? Okay, I punched, I hit it once, and there we go. We got it in the lasso. Gonna quickly put that into the backpack. And I also saw another rain frog with a different kind of texture. I, uh, I kinda wanna capture it. Is it this guy? Look at it waddling away. All right, I'm gonna grab this guy too, just because I can. And with that, we have the Guster captured. So all the mobs in the desert have now officially been captured. Okay, so the next mob we're gonna capture requires a little bit of crafting because we're gonna need the strange fish finder. Okay, that is, that is some crafting recipe okay i think i'm gonna have to kill some whales for this and then these are probably from skelewax and obviously the slime balls okay i've come to a nearby swamp biome to get the slime balls and there's a big slime cube right here 
All right, that's that's it. Okay, this river should lead to an open ocean, so that's where we'll find the Cachala whales. Wait, is this the outpost I burned down earlier? Look at that, it's still burning. Oh, that looks like a shipwreck. And there is also the ocean, so this is perfect. The good thing about a shipwreck is that Scalawags usually spawn near it, and we do need to farm a couple of those. First, uh, we're gonna have to clear this island so we can work in peace over here. Oh, almost shot the seal. Oh, damn. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Yeah, you're playing dead? Okay. Okay, there aren't any Skillowax around here for some reason. There are Skillowax up there. Oh. Yep. Okay. Okay, I just gotta get this guy to follow me up to land, and then I'm gonna kill it from there. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, wait, can I put this on? I can't. Okay, I look a bit silly with this, but uh, that's cool. We got one of these fish bones and we need three more. I think I've spotted a whale up here. I don't really want to fight this guy in the water because it does a lot of damage. Like, a lot, a lot of damage. So, I'm gonna make a little pillar and stand on this. Now, the whale shouldn't be able to reach me. Okay, there it is. Sorry about this whale, but I need your drops. Okay, we got it. Did it drop anything? It did not. Okay, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, I love to hit it with my looting three sword, but one hit of this whale and I'm dead. So the bow is my only option. And it didn't drop anything. And there's another one. Okay, this place seems to be a spawn area for the whales. Please drop something. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, wait. So I thought of a kind of a loophole to get the ambergers because that is an item you get when you push a stranded whale back into the water. And then the whale will give that item to you because sometimes when there's a storm you can find a whale beached on a beach but since i don't want to wait that long i'm just gonna go capture a whale using my mob lasso i think you know where i'm going with this i'm gonna go to shore and now i'm gonna beach this guy okay don't worry i'm not gonna keep it here for too long can i push it yeah i can uh it should be in water now i'm in Look at that. It worked. Oh, the loophole works. We got two ambergers. That's that. And now we just need two cantaloupe whale two. Okay, this way I can hit it with my looting three sword. It, didn't, it actually didn't drop anything. We got some scalawags. Underwater battle going on. Okay, so after a bit more research, I figured out why the casual whale wasn't dropping its tooth. It's because they only drop their tooth when they're fighting a giant squid. Yeah, they don't drop it when they're fighting me. Let's go grab it. Yeah, this guy is too big to fit into a bucket. All right, one more. Yes, we got another one. There we go. Get this guy. Okay, I'm gonna swim to it. Let the squid out and then hope that they fight each other. I got, I got some food for you. Oh god, that is, that is brutal. Okay, we, we're gonna have to follow these guys. Okay, kill it. It didn't drop any teeth. I, did, I just need one of them, okay? Let's pop out the squid one more time. Look at that black ink spring out. Oh my god. The squid actually won against the whale. Let's see if it can survive another battle. Oh, look at them twisting and fighting. Oh, there's another whale right there. Wait, wait, I saw something. Hold on. I got a tooth! Wait, it didn't even drop that mid-fight, it dropped it afterwards. Oh, there's another one! What? They dropped them after the fight, not while they're fighting. You are one tough giant squid, I'm, I'm gonna let you go, you, you are free to go. You have definitely earned your freedom. I can make this, but I need one more fish bone, which means I have to kill one more skillowag. Yep, at this shipwreck we have a couple more skillowags. We got even one on land, and killing this one should give me the bones I need. Okay, now we should have everything to craft the strange fish locator. There we go. Okay, how do I, uh... What just happened? Okay, so this is supposed to guide me to a single chunk where the devil's pupfish spawn. Okay, this direction. I have no idea how far it is. I guess I'm gonna find out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new backpack because I really don't have any room in my inventory. And my two backpacks are completely full. We already have all the ingredients, so that's good. Start with the small backpack. Then we're gonna make the medium backpack and upgrade it to the large backpack. And now we can put all the stuff into our new backpack. Having a clean inventory is always good. Okay, back to the search. This direction, right? Yeah, okay. I have a feeling we're getting 
getting pretty close now because the signs have shifted a bit. As soon as we're in the chunk, this compass, the strange fish finder will turn into an arrow. Where, where did it go? Oh, backwards. Did I walk past it? Didn't I just come up this mountain? Okay, okay, we're getting really, really close. Wait, it turned into an arrow. I, th I think we're in the chunk. Oh yeah, we are. Look, Devil's Hole Puffish on the map. They're spawning right here. Oh, this wasn't even that far away. I mean, we're traveling for a couple days, but I was expecting a way longer journey. Okay, I assume they are somewhere down here in these caves. Are they down here? Devil's Puffish. Oh, there we go. These guys are really fast. Yes, I got one. The Devil's Hole Pupfish. Okay, just so you're not alone, I'm gonna grab this guy too. So they can be together in the aquarium. And with the Devil's Hole Pupfish collected, there's only one mob left that we can currently get. And that is the Bifungus. So we're gonna go back to the Mushroom Biome. Okay, it's almost day 1000 and we are back on the Mushroom Biome. And one of them already dropped the Mongol Spores. I think I'm gonna need a few more to turn this rabbit that we've captured before into a bifungus. I'm just gonna dig a little hole in here, place a rabbit in. Yeah, we're just gonna keep feeding this rabbit the mongol spores until it turns into a bifungus, which is uh, probably gonna take a while. You will turn into a bifungus real soon. Oh, we got another one. This Dude, how many do you need to eat? All right, I'm gonna go grab some more. You can see the red dots on the map, and that is another mongol spore. I'm just gonna wait for red dots to appear on the island. Oh, there we go. Oh god, oh god, it's it's dying. Why, why? No. I don't know what to do. I gotta move quicker. I gotta move quicker. Come on, come on. So, stay alive. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that took way too long. Why, why can't I... <laughs> Dude. What is this? What have I done to this rabbit? Um, I'm a, I'm a bit uh, perplexed right now. Okay, I was not expecting that. Are you blowing bubbles now? Why, why can't I put you into this lasso? Are you too fat, oh, fungus? Are you too fat? Oh, oh, you're taking a nap. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna need to find a way to get this guy from this island to this place. It's back at full health. That's good. Can I push it into the boat? No. Okay, this, this looks wrong. Okay, I'm. Uh, what if I use this lead instead? Does that work? Wait, that does work? No, don't don't jump into the water. Alright, I'm gonna hop into this boat. Yeah, you're way too big for this boat, but you can still follow me, right? Yeah? Okay, this, this seems to be working. And I'm just gonna do this until we arrive at the zoo. And once we have the Bufungus in the cage, we'll have all the overworld mobs except for the Sunbird, Shrieker, and Farseer, which we'll get after we defeat the Void Worm. We have finally arrived. How am I gonna get it down? Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, are you gonna... Damn, this rabbit is a fighting machine. Yeah, sit on it, sit on it. I think I'm just gonna have to dig. And we're going up, and now the entire hole should be dug out. All right, Bifungus, are you ready for your new home? Hi. Let's go. All right, you're gonna have to jump down now. Can you can you do that for me? Just trust me, all right? Come here, come here, come here. No, no, that's that's the wrong hole. Let's go. Oh, oh god. Good thing I placed water there. Okay, okay. We almost got it. Yep, yep. Go to sleep. That's good. That's good. That's good. You're gonna wake up to one hell of a dream. All right, let's follow it. Now, if I do this, the water should be gone. Hi. Yeah. You wanna meet your friends? No, you want to go to sleep. Okay, yeah, you just take a nap. I'm just gonna drag you to your cage. Kind of like a dog, a tired dog. Okay, I'm gonna have to push it inside. Okay, you're too fat. Okay, it's... Why? Dude, you are so chunky. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna wake it up. Okay, now hop inside. Hop inside. Hop inside. Nice. This is your new home. I, I hope you like it, okay? If you want to come out, just, just let me know. And that is the Bifungus captured okay we're gonna start with the mobs in the aquarium let's whip out the mobs that's gonna require a whole lot of name tags gonna have to do some more trading later you know what i'm just gonna name all of these name tags the same we can just use one xp level for all of them and we're gonna call them subscribe which you should do by the way all right we got the orca now i am kind of worried that it's a bit too big for this aquarium so let's see 
Oh no, it fits. Now we're just gonna do this for all of these fish. No, why, why are you dying? We might have to put the orca in here. I think I can leave it like this. So we got the orca, whale, mantis shrimp, and the frill shark in this one. Yeah, so that's uh, that's all the water-based mobs. This this is insane. I'm kind of loving this build. Well, the build isn't that special, but the mobs, that's that's what makes this place so special. All right, now let's finish filling up these cages. Oh, there it is. Do not come out, all right? Nope, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. okay. Oh, oh, just wasted the name tag. No, <laughs> god damn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, no, why, why do you... Stop, stop. Oh, I'm not fast enough. There we go, finally. So we got both rain frogs in there. Why are there slime balls? Did a creature die? They're digging and they have procreated. Oh, okay, they can generate slime balls by eating moss blocks, I guess. Okay, I've added a couple more mobs. Not quite sure where I stop recording. So we got the platypus, the fungus, the caiman, banana slug, snow leopard, gelada monkey, the bald eagle, anaconda, which, uh, I don't know, it's probably doing some yoga or something. Tusklin, the moose, the alligator snapping turtle, shubu, tiger, Crosswalker, the Guster. And lastly, we have the Rocky Roller. Yeah, actually, they didn't cause me too much trouble. Oh, we got a couple left. The Murmur, the Cave Centipede. Okay, let's do this. Should we do the Cave Centipede first? Yeah, I just hope it doesn't walk out. Okay, okay. Get... No. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was... Wait, it can fit through one block high gaps? This is not going well. Oh, give me a second, give me a second, give me a chance. Oh god, this is so hard on two hearts. The other hostile mobs didn't really give me that hard of a time. Now I could place it there and close this. Yes. Oh la la, look at this thing. This is one creepy crawler. Okay, now we got the murmur. This should be a bit easier. I gotta move quick. Oh no, oh no, I don't have water. Okay, saved it, saved it, we're good. Look at its neck. Imagine seeing something like that in real life. Oh my god. Okay, as long as its head is in there, we should be fine. The only two left are the elephants. All right, the second elephant. Oh, this guy looks cool. These are now all of the overworld mobs, except for the other three, which we'll get after we defeat the void worm. Because, well, it's almost impossible to capture them before we defeat the void worm and get the dimensional carver and the elytra. All right, next up, we're gonna build the cages for the nether mobs. So this is the design I've chosen for the nether cages. We got some of these glow lichen. We used some smooth basalt and various blackstone blocks. And we also use some crimson hyphae and a lantern for the hallway. And down here, below here, we're gonna have a lava river. So now I'm just gonna build out these cages. We're gonna need to build eight cages. And in here, we have all the materials for this build. I hope that's gonna be enough. I've been farming for a long, long time. All right, let's, uh, let's get to it. That is four cages done. Now we just gotta do these four cages one more time. Are you ready to see the nether cages and the end cages? Because I just finished them. Before we get over there, I just can't get enough of this. I just keep having to look at this. And yeah, sadly, the wandering elephant despawned. I guess that's just part of the wandering thing. But we got the other elephant. And we just keep the space for the other three mobs that we have to get from the overworld. All right, let's start with the nether cages. So this is the end product. I got eight cages in here. and. 
and this is what the design is and we got a little lava river underneath where two mobs will go into that's that's gonna look sick and over here on this side we have the end cages we have a little bit of a pattern with water here blue light but yeah these cages are ready to hold some mobs and we're gonna start with the nether mobs all right it's time we go into the nether man i should have built in like a minecart or something this is quite a long hallway look at the giant squid yeah all right let's go up and into the nether portal now we should have all the mob lassos necessary and we already have the straddler and the crimson mosquito but i'm actually gonna need a second crimson mosquito for another mob and we also got the specter from the end but well, we're gonna get to that later okay let's start with the warped forest in there is actually a mob that we need to capture let's see if it spawns i'm sure if we go deep into this forest we should find one okay the mob i'm looking for is the warped toad which should spawn in this biome but they don't always spawn i know we've seen one earlier so okay there doesn't seem to be one in this area might have to come back here or look for a different warp forest oh i spotted some drop bears on the map it was our mobs that we have to capture okay there seems to be one up here is that true yep yep has to be okay okay uh is that enough nope that should definitely be enough we almost killed that thing and that is the drop bear collected two of the mobs that we have to capture will be in the lava seas now those are going to be hard to capture i'm not quite sure how i'm going to do that yet i guess it could have made a fire resistant potion wait didn't we get some fire resistant potions a while back from trading yeah, we still got two of them. Okay, none of the mobs that we're looking for are in this area. I'm gonna have to uh, wander a bit further out. Okay, we got a crimson forest. And I see one of the crimson mosquitoes already. So I'm gonna have to go over there. Or it comes to me. That works too. I'm gonna punch it a bit. And there we go. You'll see why we need this guy very soon. It should be safe to cross now. And I'm not gonna speed bridge. I'm not gonna risk this when I'm so close to completing this project. Oh, there's a bone serpent up front. Now that is one hard mob to get because it lives in this giant sea of lava. I saw you. Sneaky little. Okay, that bone serpent is too risky to get. I'm, I'm gonna look for a different one. Oh, there's a, there's a Laviathan. Laviathan? I don't know how you say these names. Laviathan. 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 There we go. I think it's coming closer, but it's kind of deep under the lava. Oh, I kind of saw it. I saw it. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. This is not a smart move. I don't care. I need to collect these mobs. I kind of just need the Laviathan to surface. Otherwise, I don't really have a chance to capture it. You know what? I'm going to look for a different one. I'm going to look for one that is at the surface. I've seen a couple of them on land before. Okay, we got another Laviathan and another Bone Serpent. Can I lure that thing somehow? Oh. Oh. Okay, it's right there somewhere. How do I get to it, though? Oh, oh god, what was that? Can you do that again, please? Oh, it was, it was right in front of me. It's coming closer, you know what? I'm going in, let's do this. This is it, this is it. I got it. Okay, let's get out before the bone serpent comes. This creature is massive. The Laviathan. Put it in the backpack. Okay, let's go for the bone serpent as well. While we still have this fire resistance. Okay, the bone serpent kind of disappeared. Gonna have to look for another one. Okay, my fire resistance potion has now worn off. There's one right in front of me. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have my stuff ready. Okay, I'm using the potion. I'm using the potion. Oh, I need to deal some damage. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Okay, that should be enough. That should be enough. Can I capture it? Please, please, please. I can get... Yes, that took quite a bit of work. There's another one here. You want to be captured too? I mean, I have space for two of you. Okay, this one... Okay, that one is pretty low. I should be able to capture it now. I got it. I got it. Let's, let's get out of here. So we got two bone serpents. That is gonna be sick. All right, let's go to the next mob. I can see a warp toad on the map. I'm gonna try to get to it before it despawns. Okay, so it should be right there. There it is. I'm gonna take you with me to another dimension. All these mobs are gonna experience quite the journey. That is the warp toad collected. Over on this side, there should be a soul sand valley. And I believe that's where the soul vulture spawns. So it's down there. That's the biome we're looking for. Pretty nice that all of this is pretty close together. Let's get 
rid of the gas. I do not want to have them shooting at me while I'm bridging here. Oh. Right as the gas can. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I should... Oh, God. Okay, let's go look for those soul vultures. They do spawn here, if I remember correctly. Oh, I think I saw it. Okay, that was not it. Okay, it's right here somewhere. Yep. Where did it go? Oh, my soul is down here. Hello? Where? What? Where did it go? Get smoked. Wait, the soul vulture actually disappeared. Alright, I'm gonna have to look for another one. I'm always so close to capturing them. And then they disappear in front of my eyes. But eventually, we do always manage to capture them. Hopefully that will continue. Okay, now where? Oh, okay, please come over here. Yep. Do not... Why does it keep flying away? Stop. 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 Okay, I... Oh. This one is so hard to capture. Okay, I'm gonna use this lead as soon as it charges at me. Did I get it? No, I got it this time. I got it this time. Oh. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? No, it was... Oh my god. Okay, I need to hit it a bit, I feel like. I think. Okay, is that enough? Yeah, it is. We actually got it. And these are all the mobs I can get in the nether. And there's one more mob, but for that one, we're gonna have to go back into the overworld. If you're familiar with the Alex's Mobs mod, you probably know which mob I'm talking about. This mob can only be summoned. All right, I'm gonna make my way back to the portal and get that last mob. I'm gonna take this boat and I'm gonna go this direction, back to the mushroom biome. We're going to visit our old friends, the Mungus. The Munguses. The Munguses? I don't know. They're just We're gonna see the Mungus again. On the road again. No. Oh, sorry, fish. I'm kind of excited to see the Mungus again. We should call this the Mungus Island. Okay, so I have collected some warped funguses before. Can I place this on your head? I can. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab one of these crimson mosquitoes and it's then going to attack this guy. Oh, just got a Mungus spore. Okay, getting this guy out. No, can you? Stop sucking on this. Suck on this guy. Suck on this guy. Right here. Right here. Suck on... Come on. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Um... Alright. Am I juicy? Come here. Come here. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Oh. What is happening? What? <laughs> are you in the boat or... <laughs> what is... What is going on? Dude, what are you doing? Stop sucking like that. I'm gonna leave those two alone for a bit. I'm gonna try to get out of its render distance so it targets the Mungus instead of me. Actually, we should be prepared. That dude does a lot of damage. The warped... What is it called? The warped Moscow does a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure I'm out of its render distance now, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna sleep real quick so we have the sunlight so I can use my shield instead of the torches. Okay, I just hope they didn't despawn. I should have given them a name tag. Okay, they are still here. Okay, I'm gonna break the boat and hopefully it attacks the Mungus. Yes, yes, it's working. It's working. Okay. No, don't don't kill it. Just suck on it. No! Oh my god. Okay, I guess he has to suck a bit more. Here, suck on this guy. So, oh, all right, let's do that same thing again. Now it's in the boat, kind of. You do, you do not want to have that on your body. I'm going to go away again and come back. And hopefully this time it turns into a warped Moscow. I hope I don't have to sacrifice too many of these Munguses. Okay, this dude is still chilling outside of the boat. Yes, okay. Yeah. Why is it not turning blue? Do not kill him. Do not kill him. I'm going to take the hits. I'm probably doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong? Okay, maybe the Mungus just has to have a bunch more of these warped funguses on itself. Let's coat this guy. How many more can you get? Okay, now this guy is fully coated with the warped funguses. Now, if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Yes? Oh, oh, it's working. It's working. It's blue. Oh god, okay. I gotta be ready. I gotta be ready. Okay, it's attacking the Mungus now. Oh man, it just destroyed that thing. Okay, stop. Stop. Leave me alone, please. I can't take a lot of hits from this guy. Oh. It needs to be 
below 50. Oh god. I got it. Oh, with that collected, we can go and head back home. Let's go down to the zoo and place these mobs into their cages. Let's drop down, get out of here. Oh, so pretty. And walk to the end of the hallway. Can't even really see it. All right, let's go to the nether cages. Let's do the soul vulture. Oh, oh God, I forgot, I forgot. Let it out, name it and close it. Look at that glowing, such a cool mob. Yeah, let's do the warp toad. That one is friendly. Oh, it's actually bigger than I thought. I'm gonna take the drop bear out. Close it. Next up, we got the straddler. Oh, I forgot that. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot that. I need to concentrate a bit more. It's like 4 a.m., so, uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to get another one. Let's go get another one real quick. Oh, I see one right there. That should be enough. All right, here, name it. We got the straddler. Let's do the crimson mosquito. Okay, let's get ready. Close it. Oh, okay. Perfect. It didn't try to suck at me. Oh, look at the drop here. Chilling on the roof. Okay, in this front cage, I want to put the warped Moscow. I gotta be quick. Name it. The cage is a bit small. He can't see its head. He doesn't seem to be suffocating, so I counted it as a win. Okay, we actually made two cages too many because two mobs are gonna go down here. Okay, now I need to find a way to get it in here. Whoa. That is one massive creature. Uh, it's still alive, right? Yep, there we go. Okay, please don't push me. Okay, I'm gonna make the lava one less layer deep so we can still see the mobs. Okay, now we can actually see the laviatin. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the bone serpents. Take it out, name it, and get it back into this. Put it right there. Don't attack me. Don't attack me, please. Break the netherrack. Oh, it's looking at me. Oh, oh god, it almost knocked me in there. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the second bone serpent. You know what, actually, this guy also survives on land, so I could just put it right here. Oh, that is a long boy. All right, we got the bone serpent, the laviathan, and another bone serpent in this cage. This zoo is insane so far. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the creatures from the end dimension. Okay, before we go to the end, I wanna try something out. So we know we have the spectre mob and it can phase through blocks. But what if we attach it to a lead and then attach it to this fence? Now that could be a possibility to keep it here, but I'm not quite sure. So, okay, to do this, I have to be really, really quick. Otherwise, it's just gonna phase through these blocks and disappear forever. Here we go, here we go. It actually kind of works. Well, I mean, can't really see it. Maybe if I put the fence one lower. Okay, I've put the fence a couple blocks lower and this kind of makes it seem to be in the cage. Okay, it works through the blocks. This actually works. And now I can close off this cage. We have somehow captured the spectre. All right, now we're gonna go and capture all the rest of these end dimension maps. Now, before we hop into the end, I wanna make some rockets, just in case we find an elytra. That could make our lives a lot easier. That's all it takes, all right? Two stacks, that should be a good amount. I don't think I'll be that long in the end. All right, we're gonna go through the pathway that we made a while ago that leads to the end portal. We're gonna cross this bridge of death once again. I'm really glad I made this path. Okay, we are at the nether portal. Let's go through. It should lead us to the end portal. And then we can hop straight in. Well, over on that side is the portal that leads to the end islands, but that's where the void worm is. So I started to build a long, long bridge to the other side. I almost reached the end islands. I just have to go a little further. Yep, this is a long, long path. Those are the cosmic cards. Those are gonna be a little hard to get in the void. I'm just gonna hope that they spawn on the end islands as well. I think we're almost there. So there's the island. Not a long way to go. Just a couple more blocks. Okay. And we have arrived. Okay, let's go capture some mobs. And that is one of them. Okay, I need to get it to half its health. 
I'm gonna capture another one just in case the other one dies because I actually did quite a lot of damage. Okay, now I got this one. Okay, this one should be safe. I'm gonna let this guy out and uh... Oh, I guess I can kill it. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Can I get this guy too? Please, please, please do not move. Stop, 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 stop. Stop moving, please. Yes. We got both of them. We got the Ender Grade and the Cosmo. Okay, I'm shaking like crazy. What is the Ender Flu? Oh. Damn. Wait, I got this now for almost nine minutes. What is this? I'm trembling. Okay, while my body fights off this virus, I'm gonna look for the cosmic cots. They're tiny little fish, but they usually are in groups. There's already an end city. Please tell me there are mimic cubes. I think I already saw one. Okay, let's go loot this. And there's also a ship. That means there will be an elytra. Okay, this is so good. Oh. Cosmic Cods. I'm gonna grab one of these Cosmic Cods real quick. They're on the island. I should be able to grab them. Wait, why, why can I not? It's not letting me. Show me the hitbox. You gotta be kidding me. How about I use a lead? Okay, that works. Kind of. Okay, it's just, it's just straight up ignoring me. What if I use a boat? Please get in the boat. There we go. Okay, I've got one in here, but that's gonna be really hard to bring to the overworld. I think I'm gonna transfer this mob to the overworld using the dimensional carver once we get it. So that means I have to defeat the void worm first to get this mob as well. Okay, first we're gonna go for the mimic cube. Mimic cubes usually spawn higher up, so I'm just gonna float to the other side. Wait, why am I on fire? It came out of nowhere. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a Mimic Cube. That's a Mimic Cube. Oh, what? It just shot me with my own bow. Okay, so this creature now possesses everything I own. The exact same item. It mimics the player. So it has the same bow I have, the same armor I have. Shoot again, go ahead. Yep. I got it. And that is the Mimic Cube. Okay, that's insane. Cosmic Cod, we can only get after we defeat the Void Worm. Okay, currently there are four mobs that I haven't captured yet. The Shrieker is in the deep dark biome. To transfer that mob back to the zoo, I'm gonna need the Dimensional Carver. And the Farseer is at the world border. And I need the Dimensional Carver for that as well, because I need to turn it into a Shadow Dimensional Carver, which allows you to teleport 1 million blocks away from your position. And that would help me greatly to reach the world border. The Cosmic Cod, for that, I need the Dimensional Carver too, so I can transfer it. And lastly, the Sunbird. Well, actually, I just need the Elytra for that. So once I defeat the Void Worm, I'm gonna go back and capture all these mobs. That is if I survive the fight against the Void Worm. Okay, let's get to the ship. Okay, I just hope I don't get knocked off of here. Okay, all right, all right, I'm, I'm going for it, I'm going for it. Okay, please, no, don't get me so high, don't get me so high. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're not good, we're not good. Oh, my water. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Okay, get out of here. Whoa, there it is. The elytra. But that is what we want. The elytra. Can't believe we've come this far. I've got all the mobs from this place. All we can do now is return back to the void worm. I mean, I'm on two hearts. If I take too many hits, I'm I'm instantly gone. I'm instantly dead. So this is going to be the hardest fight I've ever done. Two hearts against one massive void worm boss. Let's go fight that thing. I mean, there is no way around it. I have to kill the void worm to get its drops because I need them for the dimensional carver. If I don't get the dimensional carver, I can't get all the mobs. This is it. I'm gonna have to fight it. I can't push it off anymore. I mean, I'm so close to capturing all the mobs. So damn close. I do not want it to end now. So once I go through the gateway again, I will be facing the void Void worm. I'm gonna have the elytra ready just in case I need to escape. It's time to face this beast. I've got no other choice. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's right here. It is right here. Okay, I hit it. It does so much damage. I need to aim for its head. Nice, I got another headshot. Oh. 
I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I got this, I got this, I got this. No. Please don't duplicate. Please don't duplicate. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a big, big mistake. Oh no. Oh no. This is the end. This is the end. Please don't. Please don't kill me. One of them is almost dead and I spawned a new one. Oh, my safe house. Oh god, did I look at an enemy? Oh god. Okay. No. No, don't let me die, Randomly. Okay, okay. I took care of the enemy. Wait. Did I kill it? What happened? Oh, did I just kill the duplicate? Is, is another one alive? Where's the second void worm? I don't know what's going on here. I didn't get the drops. I need to find the original void worm. I have no idea where it went. Wait, don't tell me I did all of this just to not get the items from the void worm. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, okay, I found it. I found it. Where is it at? Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Hold on. Let me even go in that pool. Oh my god. That portal almost got me. There's so many crystals. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh! Oh, how did I not die? How did I not die? I, I just don't want to do it. Oh my god. I actually did it. I actually did it. What? Okay, honestly, I was expecting to die. I did not I did not think I was gonna make it. Okay, so when we open this, we get its drops. The void worm eye and the void worm mandible. Okay, so we gotta get two netherite ingots and then we can make the dimensional carver. Before I lose these, I'm gonna put them into the ender chest. Let's go back home. Okay, let's get through and let's hop through. Dude, no way I actually defeated the void worm. I, I still can't believe it. All right, let's get back on track. I just gotta remember, if I die two more times, I'm not gonna see these mobs anymore. I'm not gonna see Bufungus and now we can place in the end mobs. Let's start with the Cosmo. No idea what this thing does, but it looks like a vacuum cleaner. Next up, we got the Ender Grade. This guy is cool. You can ride him. You know when you when you put a saddle on him. Ender Refresh. This one is very dangerous. Gonna be very careful. Stay. Oh. Oh my God. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Honestly, this is one of the best mobs. All right, so there's only one cage open for the cosmic cod. Okay, now it's time to get that dimensional carver. And for that, we need two netherite ingots. So we're gonna need a whole lot of netherite scrap. So we're gonna head into the nether and uh, farm some ancient debris. So we're gonna go down to Y level 15 and just start exploding everything away. Okay, hold on. Can I survive a bed explosion? I should, right? Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay, okay. No way. <laughs> that was our first explosion. Okay, we got two here, and we got one netherite scrap back at home. All right, let's 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 continue this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and explode all of this. Four ancient debris from five explosions. That is pretty good. There's so much lava everywhere. And we got two more. Oh, no way. There's three. Wait, doesn't that mean we already have all that we need? We got seven ancient debris here and we got one back at home. So we got eight. That would be enough to make two netherite ingots. And with all of that, we can go back to the overworld. Okay, where did I store the other piece of ancient debris? Oh, there it is. I'm also going to need some gold. Let's use these blocks that we got. And all seven are smelted. And now we can make netherite ingots. And there we go. Two netherite ingots. That would be awesome to put on my sword and pickaxe, but dimensional carver is the priority right now. Now let me grab the void worm eye and the void worm mandibles. And now we should have all the ingredients to craft the dimensional carver. Look at this thing. Okay, may not look that epic, but look at what you can do. You can literally mine the fabric of space. 
And with that, you can open a portal to your spawn point, which you can set with your bed. That means I can make a portal and lead it back to wherever I set my bed to. So now you see how important this tool is to transport mobs from all around the world to the zoo. And now that we finally have it, let's go get those last few mobs that we have to capture. First mob we're gonna get is the sunbird. I should have gotten the elytra earlier. This is way faster. Oh, there's a seagull. Don't steal my stuff. Imagine if a seagull just steals your elytra mid-flight. That would be the most painful death. Actually, this place looks like a peak. There is a sunbird here. Hold on, hold on. No, I don't have my lassos ready. Oh, why am I never ready? I got it. No way. We actually got the sunbird. Let's go for the cosmic cod. That's that's an easy mob to get to. And then we're going to get the screecher and lastly the farseer. We got some cosmic cods right here, right next to the gateway. Okay, let's let's try this. First offense, use the lead if I can. Now this guy is locked to this place. Now I'm going to whip out my dimensional carver. Okay, before we open the portal, we got to name the thing. Otherwise, it's just going to despawn when it arrives in the overworld. Both of them are named. Let's open the portal. Okay. Okay, they're all coming here. Maybe I can even teleport all of them into the overworld. Okay, they went through. They went through. Okay, now I gotta follow in. What the hell? Okay, it kind of teleported me to the wrong location. But I hope it teleported the cosmic cards to the right location because I've set my bed inside the zoo. Let's go check it out. Yes, it worked. Close is off. We did it. We got the cosmic cod, actually two of them, in here. That is sick. See, there's no way I could have done that without the dimensional carver. So now we have all the end mobs. We've got all the nether mobs. I'm gonna let it out right here and name it. Oh, I got sun, Sunbird's Blessing again. Go ahead, give all the mobs your Sunbird's Blessing. I mean, that, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it wander. And in here, we'll put the Screecher and the Farseer. So all we gotta do now is get these last two mobs. Before we go look for those mobs, let me set the spawn point right here. So that when I use the Dimensional Carver, I will spawn right here. Or at least I should spawn right here. I don't know what that was before. All right, let's go after that Shrieker. So I'm just currently looking for ravines to go into. And I think... I found one. Oh, this is a deep dark biome. Alright, I'm gonna switch to my netherite chest plate. This is about to get dangerous. What? Oh, oh, okay. There's a sensor right there. Okay, the warden is probably just as powerful as the void worm. Just in case anything happens, I'm gonna put my elytra back into the ender chest. And I've also gotten some snowballs, because apparently you can shoot down screechers using projectiles. And then they will temporarily stop making noise. I gotta slowly make my way down there. But that is going to be a problem. I mean, even with my netherite chest plate, I am not safe. I am definitely not safe from the warden. Okay, I don't think there's a screecher around. Oh, there's diamonds. Should I get that? I don't know if that's worth it. Okay, I really shouldn't be messing around when I'm so close to finishing the project. Oh, oh god, why did I do that? That was definitely strike one. Oh, that was another strike. Oh, there's a screecher up front. We could get it. Shut up. Okay, follow me, follow me, follow me. Please, please follow me, please follow me. Nice, nice, okay. I'm leading away from all the sensors. Stop, stop doing that. Do not spawn a word. Okay, I'm just gonna have to keep shooting snowballs at it until it shuts up. Can I name this guy? Wait, it can jump? Okay, so I've got the screecher cage in here. Your screeches do not work. Shut up. Okay, I'm opening the portal. Get in, get in. Okay, it went through, it went through. I gotta follow. Where am I? Okay, so these creatures suffocated in the wall. That is unfortunate. Yeah, this was not a good spot to place the bed. This time, I'm gonna place the bed right here. And I'm gonna set the spawn point to this bed. So the next time we bring a screecher back here, it should spawn somewhere in this area and hopefully it will not suffocate. That uh, that would be great. Okay, I'm going back out there and I'm gonna look for another screecher. We finally found another deep dark biome after a long time of searching. It's everywhere. This is a massive deep dark biome. There will be for sure at least one screecher in there. Is that a city? This deep dark biome is massive. It spreads over this entire cave system. I'm just gonna try to find one screecher and get out of here. I do not intend to stay long. This seems to be a city. I don't really want to go in there. And I think I found a screecher that is pretty close to a place where there are no sensors. 
Yes, follow me, follow me, follow me. Okay, I need to get my blocks ready. I don't have any blocks. Okay. Okay, first of all, name tag. What is this? Okay, you gotta chill. I got it, I got it, I got it. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Oh. Ah, that's the sound of another creature dying. Okay, let me try this again. Oh, there's a second one, there's a second one. Alright, come here, come here. I'm gonna shoot it down with a snowball. Come on, get it. Yes, finally. Okay, I'm gonna give you this name tag. Please do not waste it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, it went through. It went through. It did. On me. We did it. That was that was so much harder than I expected. There is only one more mob we gotta capture, and that is the far seer. Now that is going to be a very long journey. And to make that journey a bit shorter, we are going to turn the dimensional carver into a shattered dimensional carver. To do that, we're just gonna have to place it into a capsid block. Wait, but then we don't have a way to teleport back home. Yeah, that's that's a problem for another time. Let's just try to get to the world border as fast as we can and collect that far seer. We're gonna take one of these capsule blocks, place it on the ground, and then we're gonna place the dimensional carver into this. This should then turn it into the shattered dimensional carver. Okay, that definitely looks shattered. Okay, yeah, that looks really cursed. Okay, using this shattered dimensional carver, we can travel a million blocks into any direction. Do what this bird is called. Thank you. Okay, so the default Minecraft world is 30 million blocks wide. That looks weird. Okay, we're gonna go south. Just south. Wait. Oh my god. I just almost suffocated. Okay, we're at the surface. The z-axis is now at a million blocks. Over a million blocks. So we actually traveled a million blocks. I think the safest thing to do is to open a portal at sea level. Facing south. Let's open this portal. And I have my water bucket ready. Here we go. Oh, I've spawned on ice. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. We're good. Now we should be at the 2 million. Yep. All right. We're just going to keep doing this until we're at 30 million blocks. This is it. We're at the world border. I'm going to be honest with you. I did not expect to come this far. Just walk around at this world border and hopefully spot a farce here at some point. Honestly, I don't know if they spawn at night or not. All I noticed that they have an ability similar to the void worm. And yeah, so far I haven't seen a single farce here. I haven't found a farce here on the surface. So that's why I'm underground looking for them here. And so far I haven't had any luck. What is that sound? Oh my god, that is a far seer. That is a far seer. What? It's gonna follow me. It's gonna follow me. My shield is broken. My shield is broken. I need to make a new shield. It's somewhere down here. Okay, yep, it's right there. Oh my god. Holy crap. That was the last mob to capture. Now I just have to find a way to get back home because um, I'm a bit far away from my base. Okay, I do have a solution how we could get back to our base really, really quick, but it involves some risky play. You see, I plan to put everything into my backpack and then I'm gonna put the backpack into my ender chest backpack. You see where I'm going with this? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to leave this behind and my 25 levels and now we're gonna die. Okay, and I'm back at our home with one life remaining. I can put all my stuff on again. I do need a new ender chest backpack though. And there we go. Okay, let's go to the back and finally place the last mob into its cage. I had some leftover space here in the center, in the middle of all of these cages. So I decided to use this for the farce here, as this is the last mob that I captured. And it's also pretty deadly. So, okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna eat a golden apple. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Name it, name it. We got it. And it is locked in. I mean, look at this. All of these cages are filled 
with the mobs. This was probably the biggest project I've ever done. And this is it. This is all 88 mobs captured and the boss defeated. This took a lot of effort, so if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. My goal is get to 100k by the end of the year. There's one more thing I gotta do. Oh, look at those shoes.